So we're up nice and early, Monday morning, it is five to six and we're ready to go. We've got everything packed, mainly just food, clothes, that type of thing. We've got the ladders on the roof, tested out my new ladder uh, clamps. So yeah, um, looking forward to it, plenty to do, better get to it. So hopefully you can hear me, it's quite windy. So driving into the street, uh, there's a lot of like, rubble on the floor. And um, further inspection, there's a bit of rent that's come off. Um, prevailing winds on this side of the island are quite bad. Uh, so anyway, I'll just show you. So that's what's on the floor. And render so that'll have to be cleaned up but it's come from this and the front is going to get re-rendered but the uh, first job is going to clean that up so that was an unexpected first job um, Battling these winds is uh, pretty hectic. So what we've done is we've reinforced these wooden posts. When it comes to landscaping, we're just gonna do without them. Uh, concrete posts, because I know they're gonna last. And I don't wanna be coming back to, oh, my fence is blown down. Uh, so yeah long term that is the best solution uh tarpaulin's blown off there so nosy neighbors can have a little look but um apart from that oh and the rendering falling off um it's just something that we're going to have to live with but uh, yeah just going to put this back up check everything else no slip tiles on the roof, so uh, back on with it. Great, so we're on with uh, order list. Um, some things I can pick up now, some things I'll get for delivery. Uh, my morning's work is going over everything we need, every job we need to do, what we can do this week, what materials we then need to order, because I only want to make one trip uh, every time I'm here, otherwise you spend half your day going back and forwards. That's no good for anyone. So, um, one of my first jobs is to carry on with the footing. So I've got to dig that out. I'm going to provisionally book in the building inspector and then provisionally book in the concrete. So we're going to get like a Baromix type uh, wagon. And then we're gonna also screed this floor in. So we've got to prepare it. Um, and yeah, so now Dave's on with studying out, got upstairs to do. I think he's gonna carry on with finishing the block work on the window on the inside. So just gonna block that bit up because uh, it's quite crumbly, this stuff. Looking a bit cloudy today. All loaded up. Foil. Membrane. Loads of other little bits. So, just been into Hughes Grey and we've got every material we needed because sometimes you have to shop around go to a few different places but everything except from floor primer so when we come to do the screening uh, we need this uh, bonding you know basically to pour the concrete so i've got a nipped tool station i'm gonna go get a body because i'm starving they've got a mean mean bacon body around here it's proper thick bacon it's good stuff so we're gonna do that 
it's all go and on with the day. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, I couldn't be more welcomed. I'm absolutely starving. So I picked up the primer and then that should be it. I shouldn't have to venture out anymore for this week. And this bloody car is so annoying. Beep, 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 number plate light. Needs a good service. So just currently digging out the footing. Uh, somewhat got one section done. Um, and just that one remaining. So we're taking out that for the time being and we're gonna install one here, a gully, which will take the rainwater and then we're gonna go across and then that will take the other. ages um, it will be the last time I ever dig a foot in except from uh, with a digger machine so this is what we're on with so we've got our 900 depth got a water pipe here Dave's pegged it out ready for the building inspector tomorrow that's going to be our six inch of concrete and our foundations for the corner extension so I have to say I'm not even pleased with the progress I'm just miffed off that I've had to do that um, Dave's helped me out as well towards the end just struggling um, so yeah on with more meal tasks it's quite a long day been up since quarter past five, it's now half past five. And I've got a couple of hours left in me, but just making the day count because it's a long way to come. Uh, so yeah, making the most. So it's eight o'clock in the morning. The weather is absolutely terrible. Didn't have a very good night's sleep. Uh, just rushing because normally I start work at eight. Only the delivery's turned up. So, on with it. And on with the day. Get some gloves. One of my pet hates, and I really don't like it, is being rudely awoken up or rudely awakened. Um, so <laughs> it all goes back to being a kid. When I was little, you know, my grandma would wake me up and, oh, Matthew, Matthew, wake up, wake up. It's time for school. And I hate that. I absolutely hate it. And it's, and that's like instilled in me. I'm just checking these fences because some of them can rip a bit. But everything's folded up, and everything's held up. <laughs> I can't believe how windy it is. Yeah. 
So we've got the building inspector coming today. We're just going to finish off this insulation and batten, batten that. Um, I'm basically tasked with, <clears throat> we need a good tidy up after everything we've done. So all the tools are going in there and all that good stuff. It's a windy one and uh, we've had a delivery this morning. We've had the building inspector out today and he signed everything off. So we're good to pour the concrete. Um, getting a few quotes. You're always better to go direct if you can. Uh, we always looking to use like a volumetric mix. So if you need extra on the job, it's just there if you need it. Because if you don't use a volumetric one and it's in the wagon from when they've poured it, they've got to come back and it can work out a little bit dearer. But this volumetric mix, I think it's Red Star or something. Um, very, very expensive. Nearly 200, nearly th just shy of 300 pound per cube. Give you an idea, we pay 120 in Wigan. And I know it's rural areas and less jobs and that type of thing, but uh, that's very expensive. Um, so yeah, we've got the concrete, uh, we've gone with Hogan Bros, uh, I believe they've got a quarry, so it's, it's almost directly with them. Um, yeah, that's not a volumetric one, that's just in the wagon, it's going to come, get poured, we've measured it all out. Uh, Dave's got his level out and um, yeah uh, tomorrow we've got a structural engineer coming in taking the calculations for the internal walls because the load burring uh, he needs to do the correct calculations for the correct uh, lintels basically I'm guessing three steel RSJs bolted together painted red lead so we've got this to go there. Engineering brick, trench block, and then three pallets or three cubes of concrete block. So <laughs> because I've got this light shining <laughs> towards me, I can't see nothing in front. So I'm losing my footing. So I'll just try and burr with it, find my way. Um, so, somewhat still in the eye of a storm, 50 mile an hour winds. And all I can say is, they won't build them like they used to. I've shifted four pallets of concrete block. Don't know if you can hear me. Um, and I'm, I'm absolutely knackered again second day in a row second day being here so just show you what i've been up to i'm just going to sweep that out while the water's there into the gully uh, just keep it nice and clean still got the bag of sand there so this trench block we've got i don't know how many of them i've got actually maybe 20 of them 40 engineering brick and then I think we've got I think there's 220 of these concrete block I'm not sure what they weigh per one maybe like oh, they get heavier as they go along so I'm guessing they're maybe 15 kilograms so we've got all them there stacked up gonna nip inside see what Dave's been up to and uh, yeah it's almost it's almost tea time yeah right so we're on with checking out the stairs uh, these were not compliant they were too steep they're in the wrong place and we've now installed the floor up there so Dave's done a good job it is 
quite a difference. When you was up there, you could really feel the bounce last time. And now it's all properly reinforced. Got all our joist hangers on there. Uh, so yeah, it's looking really good. So I've just pulled that off. I'm gonna break that up. Um, we're gonna have the stirs running from here up to there. So we're gonna re-measure that, make sure it's right. And uh, believe it or not, the cheapest place I've found stirs is eBay. So it, the, the custom made, um, and for 320 quid, we'll check out the quality when they come. So yeah, more rubble to clean up, more jobs to be done. And after this, Dave's just sorting out the footings. And then we're gonna move on to preparing the wall, the structural wall to be uh, taken down, so. Been to screw fix, been to Hughes Gray, got back, went and picked up some drill bits. And I wanna show you these, absolutely massive. So we've got one meter drill bits, SDS, and therefore going through. So bigger than what we need, but it was either one meter or not enough. So what we're on with at the minute is this part here, we're taking this out and it's gonna be a two meter length. So we're gonna have three RSJs bolted together and that will make up the difference in the wall. The Dave's come up with a solution where we've got a board going across the top, screwed in anchor screws and you know how last time when you can't find a bite, how many drills you have to do to get the right amount of screws in. <laughs> that looks terrible <laughs> but that's what that's how it is you know if you miss a brick and it just hits mortar that's just how it is when we did the dpc um i had the same issue so this here will be open plan this part onwards up to the will be our bathroom and that's what we're on with. So we're gonna go check out upstairs. I've got the rest of that to finish. Inside as well. This is this as well as drills. Binding rocks. Yeah. <laughs> to bind rocks together, all those loose little bits, and to keep it as one when we open it up. It's going to be a few methods. You don't want to go through mortar, do you? No, that's what I want rocks going through. <laughs> Can't 
film this, man. This is fucking trade secrets. <laughs> Gonna go viral, mate. We're made millionaires. <laughs> Come on, yeah, you're free though. So that is the idea. Washer, bolt on both sides, tighten it, and then all these screws should hold up all the little bits. And that's the idea. So hopefully that will keep the wall up. As well as that, what we're planning on doing is taking down the internal skin first, because the outside has quite a lot of these boulders. So the majority of the inside stuff is like all like little bitty brick. So if we take down one side first, we still got one part, prop that and then take down the other. So for what that is, it is quite a complex wall to take down. Um, we're not going to go down the worst case scenario we're just gonna do our best and go from there so ideas have been put forward through building control structural engineer and uh, yeah got the go ahead so it look pretty good we should have a, like a nice open plan living area here um, you know, you'll see straight out into the garden, which will be quite nice. So it's half past five. We've been going since half past seven, long days. And uh, this is what kind of I've been up to for the majority of it. So, I've raked out all in between the joints. Dave's just stuck on a couple of rocks so that it cleans up the corner quite nice because that was missing one. There was a piece up there and there's some inside. So, quite impressed. Um, all inside as well. Just on with primer in the floor, with marks out, Dave's got his laser on, and this is the high point, so this doesn't need concrete when we pour, but the remaining of this, brushed it, primed it, so it should stick, it's only a very thin layer. So I thought I'd just show you how we're getting on with living on site, the progress, and somewhat future updates what i'm thinking of doing got a couple ideas so at the minute living on site is okay it's the best it probably can be at the minute um caravans all right comfortable it's basic uh last night there was a fuse not sure if i mentioned it but we're having to run a lead from the house into the caravan because the plug sockets have just decided to die. I've checked what fuses, well, I've checked what switches that I know of. There's two 20 amp fuses which I could replace, which I'll bring with me next time I come. So we're running the fan eater, the air fryer for tea, off this reel. <laughs> um, so yeah, keeping it real, we're making do, stand up showers, 
don't miss them. Um, or I say a stand-up wash because the shower doesn't work. So <laughs> caravan life is is a bit bleak, but I can manage for four days. Um, like I say, it's not ideal, but this is how it is. So in terms of the project, we've got the building inspector that's been out. The structural engineer came today. Um, we're ready for doing our knock throughs. We've bolted up both sides of the wall. We've put our pins in uh, on one wall. So that's gonna be really good. It's gonna create a nice open plan living space. Next week, we'll be on with the extension build. The footing's gonna get poured tomorrow, as well as the floor screening. And just excited for the progress because it's starting to come on now and I'm, I'm really impressed. Today we was stenciling out on the floor, marking up the bathroom, where the stairs are, the kitchen, how big, and it's very quirky, very, it's, it's quirky, I'll just leave it at that. Um, very clever making use of space, there's gonna be no dead space within the house and uh, gonna make it all really light and airy so the design side of things it's uh, it's coming on it's gonna look really really good um, gonna create like a nice outdoor living space for people to just come live outside as well as inside you know patio doors you'll be able to see right through the house uh, where you where you're sitting you know the view of the garden um, so it's just little things we keep amending um, clever little ideas and um, we're working really well together as well um, that's another thing is having a good team you know good contacts it's all in the preparation so uh, ringing around a few people it's having three options for everything that you need so it's the concrete you've got three contact numbers uh, structural engineer you've got three contact numbers someone doesn't turn up on the phone ring someone else so yeah in terms of being prepared more than we can ever be we've also got every little bit of legislation paperwork on hand printed for when any, anybody wants anything or questions anything it's like oh got that piece of paper there um, rang up about the council tax today because we have these letters that come through and um, yeah so it's having a full renovation we're not really using any of the services except from like a black bin every once in a while for our rubbish but um, yeah that that council tax is free now uh, for six months funny noises outside so yeah, I had some load bangs last night. Fences flapping, dogs barking, trees. The caravan was shaking last night in that storm. Um, and I'm not exaggerating, literally it was shaking. I was sleeping and it took me a good 20 minutes and I was tired. Um, so yeah, um, for tea we're on with chicken goujons in the air fryer and it's a little bit bleak if I'm honest um, as the days go on like you can bring meals home and prepare them so I had the remains of like a Sunday dinner on Monday and then tomorrow yesterday I had a pizza today I'm on chicken goujons so <laughs> I'm missing home I'm missing uh, my wife's cooking I'm pretty spoiled like that to prefer. Um, whilst we're on the topic of cooking, we was aiming to move house to release equity to invest more into property. You know how it goes. I've explained it a few times. And the struggle I'm having at the minute is somewhat pleasing my wife to move because we've gone through the heartache of converting our house into something really special designing it how we want, it's got a big kitchen, she loves cooking, 
So to find something which is on par, never mind that, but try and get an option to buy a delayed option or a lease option. <sighs> difficult, really difficult. So I had an idea and it came to me <laughs> and it's just something I'm throwing about. I haven't even discussed it with her yet. And, this, and I, I don't normally, it's a case of I have 20 ideas every day. Some I write down, some I think are oh, too crazy. But I am that type of guy, I'm quite a visionary, I'm, I'm a thinker. I love to write things down and make notes and mull them over and think, oh, what? not how, how am I going to do it? Well, not that I can't, it's how I'm going to do it. <laughs> it's always the question. It's not, I can't afford it, it's not, it's how can I afford it? How can I get it? And then your brain starts working. So my idea is... Just an idea, I'm not throwing it out there as gospel. Um, a barn, living on site, static caravan, a big one, bigger than this, nice one. And convert the barn whilst we're somewhat living there so we could sell our house, buy a plot of land with an existing building and convert it in our own time just an idea something I've seen online and um, yeah I'll bit more into it keeps me busy in the evenings as well as editing because uh, Dave installed a TV and I just I'm not even connected it I've not had time I just I get in we do half seven to half six today so it's like, you know what I mean? It's like 11 hours of working. We don't really stop for a dinner, not very much, like 10, 15 minutes. Uh, we just plow through, basically get five days done in four. And um, yeah, spend my evenings editing, FaceTime with the family, and uh, eat, sleep, work on the project repeat <laughs> four days a week so it's hard but in general I'm loving it um, as much as it's chaos as much as people piss me off as much as there's problems there's issues there's injuries there's colds there's weather I love it you know it's one of those things it's um, I quite like the chaos so yeah we've got two months left of the project so bring it on um yeah see what tomorrow brings and i'll leave it at that so concrete's come and it's just decided to piss it down So, screening in here. In this room. And footings in the back. So, we've had the footings filled in. That's the little nib there, which goes underneath the extension. And that goes underneath the house. So, as you can see, it's rained. Um, tampered it, it's all level. And instead of using Baramix, which is a volumetric mixer, we went for the cheaper option, 
of, and it was like 300 quid cheaper, it was nearly half the price. Uh, this is just excess concrete, so we've done it inside, it's all screeded, and we just made use of that. It was already there, but it was all cracked, it was really thin, so yeah. Right, so that is one week wrapped up. <clears throat> it's a four day week, but as always, we crammed enough hours in to do five. Um, smashed it this week, through a cold, through the weather. It's been, been a bit difficult this one, this week. Um, we are, it's more of a preparation week, so we've got quite a lot done. So as always, if you like the content, give us a thumbs up. Any comments, anything you've picked up on, uh, any, anything you might have done differently, uh, comment below. Um, any improvements all welcomed constructive criticism or feedback always welcomed um, so yeah if you haven't already please subscribe it would be greatly appreciated I think we're not far off 300 uh, and growing so yeah I'm well impressed um, it's going to be mega I've got a little something lined up for after this is finished and I'm quite happy about it. It's got four wheels, that's all I'm saying. But uh, for now, thanks for watching, and that's it. Good night.